The Sinister Child Whispers in the Dark The rusted swing set creaked as Lily pushed it, her tiny feet barely touching the ground. Her brother Alex sat on the swing, his face pale and drawn. He wouldn't speak, wouldn't even look at her. He'd been like this since they moved into this old, rambling house. Come on, Alex, it's not scary, Lily chirped, trying to sound cheerful. Alex shook his head, eyes fixed on the gnarled oak tree at the edge of the yard. Its branches, reaching like skeletal fingers, seemed to claw at the peeling paint of the house. He wouldn't even look at the swing set, as if it was contaminated by something unseen. There's something wrong with this place, Alex whispered his voice barely a breath. Lily, trying to shrug off the chill that ran down her spine, said, It's just an old house, Alex. All houses have some creaks and groans. But the creaks and groans were different here. They were whispers, low and mournful, coming from the empty rooms in the dark corners. She'd heard them at night, a chorus of unseen things. One day, while playing in the garden, Lily saw him. He was a boy no older than eight, with hair as black as midnight and eyes like empty sockets. He stood by the oak tree, his gaze fixed on her. He didn't speak, just stared. His lips were stretched into a silent, chilling smile. Lily froze, her heart pounding. The boy looked familiar, like a forgotten memory. She turned to call for Alex, but he was gone. As she ran back to the house, the boy was still there, his smile widening as if he were savoring her fear. Later that night, Lily couldn't sleep. The whispers in the house were louder than ever. At the edge of her vision, she saw him, the boy, his face pale and gaunt, his eyes glowing in the darkness. He held a single bone-white doll, its eyes staring vacantly. Terror gripped her. She scrambled out of bed, her heart racing. She went to Alex's room, but it was empty. Panic clawed at her throat. She ran to the garden, calling for her brother. The boy was waiting at the foot of the oak tree, the doll clutched in his hand. He smiled, a smile that promised nothing but pain. He's gone, the boy whispered, his voice a dry rasp. Just like the others. He held up the doll, its eyes now gleaming with an unnatural light. He's here now, the boy whispered, his voice a chilling echo in the quiet night. He's playing with us. Lily stood there frozen with dread as the whispers grew louder, closer. The boy's smile widened and something shifted in the darkness, something that was no longer human. The air grew cold and a sense of pure, unadulterated terror washed over her. The boy was no longer alone and neither was she. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.